good morning and welcome back to the farm. It is raining again. Starting this month off the way we started last month off. Unfortunately. But it is April. Um, I did I did pay the mortgage uh, after I stopped filming. It's not the mortgage, sorry, the loan. I did pay the loan after I started to stop filming last month. Last month? Yeah, yes, the, en the end of last episode, I mean. Um... So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to basically get up to the farm and get ready to start um, putting in soybeans. So I think it is now it is now the right temperature and generally to get soybeans into the ground. But we're going to have to wait. Well, we want to wait for it to stop raining first, really. Now I think I can do soybeans with the. I think I can do soybeans with either drill. And I am planning on using the planter because it's got a wider working width. I think I can use the planter. Yes, we can use the planter. But what we need to do... Turn that off and wait for it to stop raining. Okay, so it's a good hour later. It's a good hour later, but it's the weather's a lot nicer. The rain seemed to stop all of a sudden. I think the black cloud just sort of dispersed and went because the rain stopped and then suddenly it's blue skies and everything. So that's good. So yeah, first thing we need to do is get these soybeans into the ground and get some fertilizer on them, which I realize is obviously a very very similar to the previous video but but it's all stuff that needs to be done that's what that's what farming is all about it's about repetitive tasks that are uh, the, yeah that need to be done so um soybean i'm going to put in because i think i can make a profit on it i don't know whether my other uh whether my um Sugar beet is germinated or not yet. Let's go have a look. Oh, it has. Oh, look at that. That is looking good. Oh, yes. They are definitely going to be good. No, I was thinking about this, but you can get you can get more money for chopped sugar beet than just regular sugar beet. Now, I don't know how you I would go about chopping it, but it's a possibility um, you could even you can even get chopped sugar beet um, taken up to the biogas plant so that you can they can break it down and turn it into fuel but I'm not so sure about that anyway I'll get this crop put in This soybean crop put in, and then we can crack on with getting it fertilised. And probably ought to wait for it to germinate to get to, to fertilise it. So we'll do that. But anyway, let's get this in the ground. There we go. 
soybeans all planted. Now I noticed while I was doing that, I noticed that the grass had grown over in the other field and it's looking pretty good, pretty good and ready for, ready for harvest. So I think we should get that cut today. And then I'm gonna have a quick look at the weather on my phone actually. Uh, there is rain on the forecast which is a bit annoying but as we're going to be making silage it's not a huge problem um, but yeah I think I think we should still get it cut today Do I want to use to cut it? Obviously the mower. Uh, so yeah, I'll need this trailer out of the way, won't I? Let's get this out of the way. Then we can get our mower out. I think once it's cut today, that'll be the... Uh, that'll be... All we can do, we'll get it rowed up tomorrow. Well, I don't know, we might, might be able to row it today. If we get it cut and rowed today, and then we're just going to get it bailed and wrapped tomorrow. I really don't know what the weather's doing tomorrow, but I really I don't want... I don't want to have to be beggling and wrapping in the rain yeah I think we'll get it um, get it cut and rode today and then if it gets a little bit wet tomorrow it doesn't really matter it's already wet anyway because it was wet, wet this morning but I think it's it's dried out a little bit god all these crops are looking so healthy I'm really pleased with how they've turned out doesn't look like that one's too far away from harvest, but I know it's a good couple of months off yet. At least, or maybe July or something. Right, we're going to get a cut off the whole field. I'm going to take it all back to even levels. So we'll start with it all around the outside. That's going well. It is cut. We're not going to get as much off of this bit that was pre-cut already, but I think it'll still work out. Right, I'm going to crack on. Get this done as quickly as possible, and then we'll have some lunch, and then we'll get it rowed up.
that's the field all cut. You can see the definite um, definite line between the uh, different yields. Obviously, that's yielded massively over here, but not over here. But that's because it was longer over there. Simple. Right. I'm going to take this back up to the farm. And we are going to go and get some lunch. And then we'll come back, and I'll probably come back in the New Holland and tear it all up. But first, it's definitely lunchtime. I think um, once we've got all the bales off the field, it would be a good idea to uh, get some digestate on there as well. Make sure we get maximum yield. In the meantime, let's get this put away. In fact, I'm going to put it in in front of the planter. Because... Uh, shouldn't be needing the planter again soon there we go right take that off and switch that off there Yep, so there's my uh, Tedo stroke wind rower. Really got to get rid of this thing at some point. It's not what I thought it was. Uh, this thing's pretty good. Plus, we're leasing that one to own it. Better check on the stuff we're leasing to own, actually, at the minute. And doing the same with the bale wrapper. But, uh, yeah. I think that's a good start. Good, definitely a good morning's work. All right, nip home, get some lunch. And I'll see you when we're ready to start rowing it all up. Okay, here we are. So one thing I did think of was we could load all these up and uh, get them taken up to the biogas plant because I won't need any more silage at any point soon. I've got a bale on the go in here. I've got a couple of bales there I can keep. And the other stuff then will just be left to ferment before we take that up. So... Anyway, let's take this off here. I'm also going to take the front loader off while I do this. Just while I get it all rowed up. Obviously I'll need the um need the front loader again once. Once it's all done. There we go. Let's get this thing on the tether. And then get it rowed up. My um, Deucefar does appear to need another service. Which is disappointing because I don't think it's very long since I did it last. I could be wrong. could be thinking about a different tractor, but I know we did the Massey. Pretty sure we did this as well. Can't remember if we did the do so. I think we did. Either way. Do so is getting a bit long in the tooth, I suppose. It is a 2003, which would make it nearly 19 years old now. So, I don't know. Still a nice tractor though, still works really well, pulls hard. Might be worth thinking about trading it in soon. That's the thought for another day anyway. I am liking this this tractor though. This is a lovely tractor. Okay. Let's get all this rowed up now. How do I unfold it? Ah, oh, yes, that's on that side. Just 
Right then, so I need to start by bringing it away from the hedge, not by bringing it towards the hedge. Okay. Let's get this started up. And let's get it all road. We have one beautifully rode up field and it's 20 past four and still still light outside so you can tell the nights are, are getting longer again the evenings are getting longer i should say and that is all ready for me to bail up tomorrow so i am very pleased with that that was a good day's work it's getting low on fuel actually this thing i'll have to fill it up before i uh use it again next time but that will be picking up the bales anyway I imagine or oh, wrapping I don't know yet I might use it for wrapping I do enjoy using this tractor I really do anyway I'm going to leave this episode for the day because you have seen more than enough of this and get this in here there we go Right, well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. A new place, a new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride.